What the flying f What? I'm speechless. I am speechless, but I'm a, I'm not a Muay Thai god. I'm not a Muay Thai uh, specialist. I just I'm specializing in hand hand combat. Let's get in the office. What's going on, guys? We just got done watching Rod Ting versus Super Lake, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am absolutely shocked that Super Lake won that fight. I felt when I was watching that fight, I felt Rod Ting came forward a lot more. I felt Rod Ting land landed. I mean, they both landed shots. They both landed shots back and forth, left and right. Rod Tame will land a beautiful elbow. Super Lego land a beautiful elbow. Super Lego land land kicks. But I felt like the one shot that made a difference in the fight was Rod Tame's elbow, which cut Super Lego over his eye, over his head. With that shot, that was probably the most damaging shot in the whole fight because it made him bled, right? Typically, that's what elbows are designed to do. Elbows are designed to cut you want to cut above the eyelids, or the eyebrows. The blood drops into the opponent's eyes. They cannot see. You are fighting a wounded animal that cannot, that has perfect vision. Now, when they gave the fight to Super Lake, I I, I even turned the video off. I was like, yeah, Rotting run this fight. Rotting ate all those shots. He controlled the distance. He he basically pressured Super Lake the whole entire time, and. <laughs> Super Super League won the fight. I, I don't know how he won the fight. I don't know how they score uh, Muay Thai, but if I was to view the fight in my criteria, I would have gave it to Rod Tank. Now, obviously, Super League did come in overweight. He came in five pounds overweight. One of my coaches and good friends, Steve Skid, says a fighter has two jobs, just two: fight and make weight. Now, when you come in overweight five pounds the first thing that comes to my mind as an athlete is like did you even try to make weight right you get notified that you're gonna be fighting somebody eight weeks when i get notified that i'm gonna fight somebody in like eight weeks ten weeks right now i walk around like 150 pounds i designed my camp or my diet to a point where when it's time for me the week of the fight i only have to cut maybe two pounds and still be hydrated. So there's no excuse for somebody to miss weight by five pounds. <clears throat> and I'm not picking on Super Lake shit. I even gave Kevin Gaslam a pep talk in Vegas. I said, baby, you know better than this. You a wrestler, so I'm gonna be extra hard on you. There's no reason why you should be missing weight, Kevin Gaslam. You know what he says? I'm sorry, man, I'm Mexican. I love that Mexican food, it's just too good. I was like, ah, I don't wanna hear that bullshit. I want you on weight every single time you step on that scale. <clears throat> but he did come in overweight and it was five pounds, so that's why it wasn't for Rotang's belt. Now, boom, that's a huge miss opportunity. How many times have we seen athletes in a sport of combat miss weight and miss out on a huge opportunity? Oh, I know I'm rings a bell. Hazmat versus Nate Diaz. Hazmat comes in into the fight overweight, misses the opportunity to, to destroy Nate Diaz. Missed the opportunity to destroy Nate Diaz or fight Nate Diaz. I can't say he would have destroyed Nate Diaz, but he misses the opportunity. Right here, perfect example. Super League comes in five pounds overweight. He beats Rod Tang, and he's not the world champion. He has no opportunity to win the belt, and he has no opportunity to win a bonus. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would sacrifice my performance just to make weight because at the end of the day, we fight for money. That's what I fight for, I fight for money. I've been a world champion, 11 consecutive time, 15 time world champion. Now when I fight, it's for the money, but I don't need no money, I'm good. I, I've been smart with my investments. But yeah, I, I think all in all, I think it was a great fight between Rod Tang and Super Lake. I think the biggest thing is, I thought Rod Tang won the fight. I, you know, I, I just saw Rod Tang walking it down the whole entire time and bullying uh, Super Lake, and then the last, second the middle of the second round to third round i saw super lake holding rod tang trying to hold him hold him hold him with that clinch over and over i didn't see somebody who was winning the fight who won the fight so 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this breakdown. Uh, great fight. Congrats to Super Lake for beating Rod Tang. And congrats to Rod Tang for uh, fighting Super Lake. Hope you guys, nothing but the best and a speedy recovery. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have fights September 29th on one chip ships, Amazon Prime. I know everybody got has got Amazon Prime Prime Video. Stamp Fairtex takes on Ham. John Lineker's fighting. Sundell's fighting. It's an amazing card and it's free to you guys. Primetime Friday night. Hope you guys watch it because I'll be breaking down and doing live reaction from Stamps main event. Boys, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live and we will see you at the next one. Peace.